As a servant to the people of Queensland and Australia, I want to support this bill. I've visited almost all Indigenous Aboriginal communities in North Queensland, and I know the complexities that they face, and it is hurting the people, our people. I've also been and am a member of the Northern Development Agenda Inquiry. And land tenure is something that is hurting our people. Not only Aboriginal, but all other people in the North. These are my people. We are all one nation. That is why we support this easing of complexities that are costing many people on the ground dearly. I note, though, that this bill touches on compensation that may be payable under paragraph 5131 of the Constitution as that relates to the acquisition of property. So I want to put a question to the government. When are tens of thousands of farmers across our country going to get the same compensation under section 51, clause 31? The Howard Anderson Liberal National Government stole these farmers' property rights right across the country using the states as the vehicle to get around Section 51, Clause 31. Yet Premiers Peter Beattie and Bob Carr in Queensland and New South Wales respectively say they did it and Premier Beattie put it in writing for the Howard Government to enable the government to comply with the UN's Kyoto Protocol at the Prime Minister's request, the then Prime Minister's request. The Queensland Labor Government in, the 19, in 1998 and 2004 received hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayer money to steal farmers' property rights. They were bribes to the Queensland Government to enact this legislation. That was done through the states because the states have no commitment, no responsibility to provide compensation. So my question is, when will the federal government fulfil its responsibilities under our constitution and provide restoration of farmers' property rights or compensate them for stolen property rights? Restoration or compensation? Let me end with this. Prime Minister Morrison says it won't cost Australia to comply with the UN's Kyoto and Paris climate dictates. That's because he's still relying upon the credits from Kyoto. And that depends upon the theft of property rights from farmers right across our country. When will we see restoration of those rights? When will we see compensation? Restoration or compensation? Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President.